Challenge USA Season 5, Episode 33. What's up, y'all? It is Jay Shanice. Like, share, comment, and subscribe, baby. Okay? Love Islands USA. Let's get into this episode because, baby, let's just have a moment of silence for my girl, Amani. <laughs> I could have fought Zay. I could have beat him up. Oh, my God. If Zay wouldn't have been running his mouth, our girl would still be there. Even if it's just for another 24 hours, she would have still been there. But she was with big mouth, sloppy mouth, can't dance Zay. Just got a cute face, nothing else about him I like, God damn it. Oh, jeez. Mm, mm, mm. You know what? When he was running his mouth, I was thinking, you know what? This is not a good idea that he's telling people that they ain't even been coupled 12 hours, eight hours. And this fool is like, yeah, we're just friends. I'm not trying to force nothing. Little did he know he stuck his foot in his damn mouth. Because you know what? They used that against him <laughs> to vote him and Amani off. Lord, I said, not Amani. Anybody. It could have been. Any of them other hoes, I would have been happy. Just don't get rid of Imani. We need her energy. We need her beauty. We need that. How's Zay going to say they just friends and they was all talking and he never even once told her he said that. Did you see how she looked at him when Scott and Johnny was running their mouth like they somebody? Y'all just got couple too. Y'all about to be going home too. You, Johnny, Scott, and Destiny and Kyle. Okay? That's the most I ever see Destiny and Kyle talk was this episode. And I doubt, like Amani said, has he even really said he was into you? No, he's into staying in the villa, honey. He ain't into anything. I don't trust Kyle as far as I can see him. Okay? I said, let her know, Amani, because Kyle be playing games. And while Johnny and Scott is talking, but I didn't like how Zay tried to come for Johnny and Scott. But you said it. You said it. Maybe their delivery was whack, okay? But you said those things. So that's what they used to vote y'all off, you idiot. <laughs> now you mad because you got to go home to your mama. <laughs> Boy, bye. See you later, bye. Don't even know how to fix no pasta. Pasta all stuck together. You trying to boss somebody around in the kitchen talking about people as friends. That's the baddest woman you will ever have in your life. You will never never pull an Amani. You would never. He like, well, we just had God. Work. No, you said how you felt. You meant it. See, I'm so upset. I can't even concentrate. I, I fast forwarded through all the votes because I already knew. I seen in the sneak peek. As soon as I seen that somebody was going home and then I seen on the, the episode that he said, friends, I said, it's y'all. Then I fucked around and got on Instagram and you know, if you a little behind on the episode, they ruined it for you and I seen it was a body. I can't, I just can't y'all. I don't know what kind of review you want out of me. I'm just devastated. What am I supposed to do without a body? Oh Lord, I got to follow on Instagram and you know, I only follow like here and there. I follow Zeta. I follow Cinco. Nobody else. But Amani, she gonna get a follow. Speaking of Instagram, you know I don't really care about the episode. Now I'm just running my mouth. So somebody had put in my comments like, girl, go check out Mike's Instagram story. So I went on there, girl. He was talking about he wanted to um, still holler at Destiny and just really talking about it. He didn't have nothing bad to say about her. He said Emily was talking trash on him. So he's like, what's up, Emily? He would still like to get to know Hannah. So anyways, he talked about KK and Keenan and that he really liked them as a couple, blah, 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 blah. So my ass went ahead. He tagged them. So I went to uh, KK's, okay? Did I call her Kiki? You know, I can't remember. It's late. KK's Instagram, okay? Uh-uh. Why y'all in her Instagram talking shit? Y'all is talking trash. I don't know if it's my subscribers or other people's subscribers, but why y'all doing her like that? Like, I, I just thought you could do better than that. Uh, why did you do that? I hope you watch the episode back. I hope your family tell you that they love you and you don't need Keenan. It was all kinds of crazy stuff. Y'all go look at them comments. For real. Go look at them. 
Then I went to Keaton's story, right? Not his story. Well, I looked at his story. His story wasn't nothing. Mike, he reposted Mike. So I got in his comments and people was talking shit. But I guess he was deleting comments because people said, you must be deleting comments. I said, not him deleting comments. Uh-uh. Take all that heat. All that you was acting bad and acting like that, treating KK like Take all that heat. I was cracking up. Go look at their comments. It is bananas on Instagram. You know I ain't following either one of them. I'm just not. But Amani, I definitely think that's my girl I'm going to follow for this season, I think. I think she has my heart, and I'm sticking beside her. Maybe Cassie might get one, but probably not. Cassie ended up picking Leo, which we all knew that. If you watched the sneak peek on Instagram, they messed around and showed Leo, and then they gave it away because people were like, oh, there go Leo. I said, why y'all tell on yourself? We already knew she was going to pick Leo, but thanks for telling us before we even watched the episode. Who edited that? Who edited that? Fire them. Fire. That's like me editing. Okay? Like, I could have did better than that. <laughs> I would have put it on iMovie and really did a little something, something, something real quick. Go ahead. Anyway, she picked her man. They back together. They cute or whatever. And I showed in vote for him because I'm toxic and I like them both. Okay, I like me some Leo. Who he trying to save them braids, ain't he, girl? He trying. I said, wrap them up, Leo. Put one of them Bow Wow do-rags on. Keep that fresh, period. Okay, so him and Cassie is cute. Then Johnny ended up picking Scott or whatever. That was cute, I guess. I'm like, I'm just ready for y'all to go home. Johnny and Scott and Destiny and Kyle. Y'all can all go home. Let's end this shit. Let's end it correctly, okay? Cassie and Johnny had a talk. It was real cute or whatever. And they're like, I'm going to still be looking at you. I'm going to still be flirting with you. Okay, girl. Woo, woo, woo. The boys cooked. Um, Birdie's cake. That frosting was melted, okay? It was, I said, uh-uh, that frosting is melted. I do not like that. But see, my thing is, I'm a hoe that like cold cake. Do y'all like cold cake? I like my cakes to be cold. Or my cupcakes, like cold. I like cold pie. I don't like hot pie or like a warm cake that just came out the oven. No, 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 baby. Chill that for me. Chill that for me. That frosting was melted, child. And did you see Scott's face? He tasted that cake. He was like, mm -hmm. I said, like, oh, is it nasty, Scott? Scott, just tell us. Burger can't cook. He done been working at Dairy Queen, frying them damn chicken strips and them french fries in the gravy. And he don't know how to make no cake? He, he, I know he did a few blizzards. <laughs> what, what's wrong with him? <laughs> what? He can't... <laughs> Bernie can't cook no more. Anyways, really, that was with the episode. I don't know what y'all want me to tell me tell you because the episode they went to the store, the they ate peppers. I mean, there was really not much to say in this episode. It was really quite boring, except for when Amani left. Oh, y'all, I don't forgot to talk about Matea. I don't forgot about him that quick. Matea left. He said, "Y'all can see me in Miami." I said, "I thought y'all said he was from Canada." I thought y'all said he was on the Bachelor Canada or ba uh, Paradise, Bachelor in Paradise Canada. What is he doing in Miami? <laughs> but that's where he said he gonna be. He said, y'all can meet me there. I said, ain't nobody meeting you there, Matea. Stop it. <laughs> come on, just come into the 30s club. Join the club. Ain't you don't even kick it. <laughs> sir, sir, stop. Go get some more tattoos or go back on Bachelor in Paradise Canada. Whatever you want to do. Get on Bachelor in Paradise America. Whatever you need to do. He was like, my woman must not be in here. She must be on the outside in my DMs. I was like, period. Maybe she is or maybe she ain't. I don't know where she at, but it's showing the hell ain't Cassie or Johnny. I mean, how many shows do you need to find love? Just give up. Maybe you meant to be single all your life. Who knows at this point? What else? Is it coming on tomorrow? They didn't even say. They said our votes will count Friday. It don't take that long to vote. Because if the finale Sunday, um, are you dumping two couples? You must be having to dump two couples plus do the final dates. What is going on? Is it coming on tomorrow? They didn't tell us. They say, see you tomorrow. They just said your, your votes will count Friday. Okay. Uh, is there an episode tomorrow or are we getting a break tomorrow? And we'll see you Thursday. Because if so... Let me tell you this. If you made it this far to the video, because people be clicking off halfway, like, for what? For why? I'm a damn good time. I don't care if I was crying over Armani, because that's my girl, and I like her. And that's period. I'm sad to see her go, because Destiny could have left before her. And I know some of y'all Destiny people are like, uh-uh, Jay, don't say it. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I feel the way I feel. 
This is the first time we seen Desi's hair or something different. I said, you had to take that weave out, huh? Wrap it around and make a bun or a ponytail. I already know, girl. Listen to me. I have a comedy event tomorrow. I will be judging a roast battle. So if Love Islands comes on tomorrow, but I think it doesn't, but I don't know what's going on. They're rushing through it because they are not prepared that Sunday is the finale. I will not be making a video. You might see me Thursday in the afternoon, but I don't want to promise y'all nothing if an episode comes on. And also, if some of y'all didn't know, I am a stand-up comedian. I never talk about it. I just do my thing. But I will be judging a roast battle. I don't do no roast because you start talking about me. I'm going to forget we battling. I'm a, on your mama. <laughs> Period. I'm going to start fighting you. <laughs> I don't know. Don't talk about me. <laughs> Anyways. That's what's going on tomorrow. I might vlog, but I'm not a vloggy girl, you know? I'm not a vloggy, vloggy girl. But I've been doing stand-up comedy for like mm, six years. Six years I have been doing stand-up comedy, open mics, all that stuff. So I will be doing that. They think I'm good enough to be judging people, and I love to judge people. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. You see what my hair turned into, y'all? See, I told you it was going, you know, I was looking like, you know, yesterday. But you see, it turned out, look at my curls. Ain't they cute? Ain't they cute, girl? Eh, eh, eh. Wait, I got my pajamas on from Target, period. Okay, Target me. <laughs> you know what? I'll see y'all. Love you. Good night. Be good. Don't do anything I wouldn't do, but I do a lot of shit. So do whatever you want to do. Bye, y'all.